This looks like a calculator, but it's the Pico Calc and it can play MP3s. As a signed music producer, I was curious. After flashing the firmware and loading up an SD card, I plugged in my headphones and the audio was genuinely surprising, but for two very different reasons. So what is this? It's the Pico Calc, a handheld computer kit powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico. And the MP3 player function was created by Clockwork Pi. It's built for tinkerers who love retro gadgets. But I had to know, is its MP3 player a hidden gem or just a fun gimmick? Getting music on here is straightforward. You download the MP3 you have to, then you drag and drop it onto your Raspberry Pi Pico. And finally, you load MP3 files onto the SD card. The interface is a simple playlist. You hit enter to play a track, P to pause a track, and escape to stop. So how does it sound? The tiny built-in speaker is shockingly good, with a quality that reminds me of an iPhone speaker from about 10 years ago. The real test was the headphone jack. I plugged in my headphones and got clean audio, but only in my right ear. It seems like the hardware only outputs mono audio. The sound was still surprising because of its clarity, but also because it was, well, incomplete. If you find deep dives like this interesting, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you along for the next one. Let's put this in perspective. The Pico Calc costs around $75. You can buy a dedicated MP3 player for about $30 to $40. Those devices are built for music, offering full stereo audio and modern features. If your only goal is a separate music player, the Pico Calc is the wrong choice. It's more expensive and delivers a mono listening experience. So if it's a comprised MP3 player, what's the point? The point is that PicoCalc isn't meant to be a dedicated music player. It's a canvas, an open source computer for hobbyists. The MP3 playback isn't a headline feature, it's a tech demo showing what the hardware is capable of. So is the PicoCalc's MP3 player worth it? As your primary music device, no. It's a charming but limited feature. But for a $75 device that isn't designed for audio, the performance is fantastic. All of its quirks are forgivable because it's simply a small, imperfect part of a much more interesting machine. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.